So I look a bit of a mess because I just finished hedging uh, my full row of ficus natidia. I have columns that run about 100 feet of wall in my yard. Um, so it's an annual process of having to hedge that to keep that in check. So I just did that today. So I just wanted to take this opportunity to talk about mulch with you. Um, certainly when I started out, I didn't have mature trees to do a chop and drop type application. So I relied heavily on wood chips. And even as of last year, I brought more wood chips into my yard. Growing your own mulch though, um, not only has a financial benefit in that you, you're not paying someone else for their material, it's on site already, right? So you don't have to uh, have it delivered or pick it up. And the material is fresh, right? You know where it came from. It's a good source. You know, even with chip drop and companies like that, you're, you're not sure what they're chipping up. You know, the trees could be diseased, could have pathogens in there. Definitely, if you're um, trimming your trees, don't, don't just bag up the material and um, throw it out. That really is gold to your trees. Gather up that material and put it under your trees. So this is the back side of that ficus row. If we're trying to mimic nature, this is the best way to do it, right? The trees shed and you put those leaves right back under the tree so that they can decompose and work as nutrients to the tree. And you can see I've been doing this for years under these trees. I have a good foot of mulch around all these ficus trees. It helps insulate them both in winter and summer. And it also retains moisture, of course. You can see I've also done some work on this guava tree. It's done fruiting for the year. So I did take some of the weight off, just shaped it a little bit. And even with these branches, you know, they're a little bit too big to just shove under trees. So with those small branches, I'll just feed them through um, my electric chipper. And you can see uh, these Mexican sunflowers have gotten very leggy. They're about 12 feet tall. So same thing, I'll come through and just cut these straight across, just top them down low, about a couple feet, and then just place the branches, you know, down on the ground around my, my trees. Fantastic source of nitrogen. see another stand that you're gonna have to do the same to. If you got something out of this quick video, if you have questions, let me know. And also hope you got a little bit of moisture last night from the storm. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.